Before July 11th, 2009, I was this guy, healthy, happy, grateful for a wonderful life, and working on becoming the most interesting man in the world. Then, in a split second, it was all ripped away from me when a devastating spinal cord injury left me paralyzed from the neck down. It's been four long, hard years of battling every day to win back my life. Today is July 5th, 2013. Do you find yourself being more ambidextrous now? I think about that. I mean, sometimes it sort of seems that way, but I'm not really sure that it's true. It's just that my left hand and my right hand don't work the same. And so sometimes out of just sheer necessity or, you know, laziness and not wanting to fight the battle, I'll use my left hand where I might normally have used my right hand. I don't have the I don't have the same degree of, of fine motor control with my with my left hand fingers as I do my right hand fingers. There are just certain things that one hand works better for than the other one, so I just pick the one that works the best sometimes.
It took about two years of daily physical therapy before I could do things most people consider simple, like feeding myself or taking off my own shirt. I had also gotten to the point where I could, with great difficulty, walk about a quarter of a mile. I have a habit of setting challenges for myself, and I hadn't had a beer since I got hurt. And since I do love me a cold one, I made a pact with myself. I wouldn't drink that first beer until I could walk a mile to get it. Two years further down the road, I decided I was going to go for the mile and do it by this year's anniversary of the injury. By the end of May, it was pretty clear that was going to be a big stretch. The good news was that last spring, I bought a three-wheel recumbent bike, so I saw a plan B. The bad news was I could only ride it a mile the first time I took it out. However, the next time was two miles. The time after that, three miles. And by last August, I was up to four and a half. At that point, I decided to amend the pact. I felt that a 10-mile ride on the bike would be a fair equivalent to a one-mile walk. So this year, I decided the walk might not happen and I set my sights on seeing how far I could now ride the bike with legs nine months stronger. My first ride for distance was seven and a half miles, so with a month to go, I committed to making the 10-mile ride happen. I don't always ride 10 miles, but when I do, I drink Dos Equis. Oh my God. Drink it. Stay positive, my friends.